Hello, Andrew here. Today I'll be going over some of the new Camtasia 9 specific assets made by eLearning Brothers. As you can see here, I've got the brand new Camtasia 9 opened up on my computer. It has a brand new sleek design, looks very, very good. Uh, first of all, let's get familiar with a few of the things here on the screen. The first thing is the media bin here on the left side, and there's a tab right next to it for the library. Uh, this isn't very different from Camtasia 8, just uh, organized a little bit differently, the media bin in the library. On the left side, uh, you've got your media bin tab, you've got the annotations tab. This is where you would normally find your callouts and things like that. So callouts, uh, arrows and lines, shapes, blur and highlight uh, tools, sketch motion, and keystroke callouts all here. And if you go to your callouts, you can select basic all, which lists all of these types of callouts, um, just the abstract ones, um, the bold ones, uh, different themes, legacy. These are the very original ones that were in Camtasia 8. Um, I like to keep it on basic just because it's a little bit faster to find these two text boxes that don't have a shape around them. We've got transitions, and there's quite a few new transitions here. Uh, behaviors, and, and we'll talk about behaviors at another time, but behaviors are, are very, very cool. We'll talk a little bit about them today, but not, not a whole lot. Animations, including zoom and pan and regular animations, and there's quite a few new ones that we can play with, um, and we'll play with those at another time as well. Cursor effects, voice narration, audio effects, visual effects, and if you click on this more at the bottom of the ribbon, You've got interactivity and captions. And, and if you grab right here, grab this bar and pull it down, it makes your canvas bigger and also allows you to see everything on this ribbon um, at the expense of your timeline. So what I'll be talking about today is some of the new Camtasia 9 assets uh, that you can get from eLearning Brothers. Right here is the Camtasia template library uh, at eLearningBrothers.com. Uh, and we've got several, all of these, you can see that they say new Camtasia 9 template. These are new templates that we designed expressly for Camtasia 9. These will not work in 8. However, all of them will work in 9, and all of our older templates will also work in 9. So that being said, I've gone ahead and downloaded all of our brand new uh, templates. You can see them all downloaded here at the bottom. So we'll bring them up and uh, drag them into our media bin or library. So we'll start with outdoors. I'll grab that and drag it into the media bin. It'll ask me if I want to import zip files. Yes. And that will import all of them. Now here's the entire outdoors theme. Let's go ahead and drag down one of the intros. We'll try intro one. Drag it onto the timeline just like in Camtasia 8. Push play. And that's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and break it down. Let's uh, ungroup it and zoom in on our timeline a little bit. All right, so you can see that there's several groups here. Um, let's just click once on the groups to see what is being uh, grouped together. It looks like this group is this series of dots. And if you watch carefully in the video, I'll go ahead and play it again. Those dots all come on together and they all come off together. That's because they're grouped. Let's go to this other group. Uh, this grouping is the center squares, and you can see in these small lines inside the group uh, markings that that means there's one, two, three, four segments. You can see the four squares, and they animate on at different times. If we play through that, they all animate on separately and off separately, but they're grouped together. This group, if we hit the plus button, you can see this group is uh, several of the blinking squares that come on on the outside, but I don't see any animation lines on these. That is because if you click on one of these boxes um, and then come into its properties pane on the right side, this is the symbol for behaviors. If you click on that, you can see that there's a behavior assigned to this yellow box, and it's the fade in. And then if we play the video, you can see it kind of flashes, blinks in and out a little bit. That's because on the during, we've got it set to fade to 20% every 0.99 seconds with a 0.17 second delay. So once it's on the screen, it waits 0.17 seconds and then begins this, this one second loop time to 20% 20, 20 opacity and comes off. And all of these squares have that same property that same behavior, but then they, their start and stop is a little bit offset, so it gives them that look. Um, if you look at that, it 
comes on, and they all blink at a different, uh, different times. So that's how we've utilized the new Camtasia 9 behaviors in these new intro. Let's try this half template. We'll drag it onto the screen and push play. That one also uh, has the same blinking squares, some motion. If we ungroup that, you can see that we did use an animation right here. The shape does have a behavior attached to it. It's the sliding behavior. However, it does not have a during. So the behavior dictates how it comes onto the screen and the behavior dictates how it goes off of the screen. If you click the out, you can see that it does have an out. But its movement while it's on screen is dictated by the animation. So Camtasia 9 now allows us to mix behaviors and animations to get it to uh, act exactly how you would like in a very simple and easy way using only uh, one behavior. We stuck it on, the sliding, and then one animation. And we were able to get that circle to move onto the screen, move smoothly across the screen, and then move off of the screen. And this, uh, let's go ahead and regroup it. I'll hit uh, Control Z to put it back in the group and I'll lift it up. And let's put a video behind it and see what that, that looks like. Now, if I drag this footage into Camtasia's uh, media section here while the library is up, then that will actually add it to the library. I don't want to add it to the library. I just want to add it to the media bin. So I'm going to go ahead and select the media bin, then drag the footage straight into that media bin. Now I will drag that footage down underneath my uh, overlay. And when I play it, you'll see that that overlay covers up my actor, and that's not what I'm going for. So what I'll do is I will go to my, my footage, and I'm going to rotate it in the properties pane here on the right side by 180 degrees. And that'll put uh, my character on the right side. He's still a little bit encroached by this, uh, this overlay. So I'm going to come right up onto the canvas, grab the corner of uh, the footage, zoom in a little bit, um, and then if I scroll out using my mouse wheel, I can change the size so that I can now see the border of my uh, footage. And I'm going to arrange this so it's a little bit better for seeing my character. Now when we push play, that looks much better. Much better for, uh, for using that overlay. And this overlay is covering up this, the, the words on these parking signs so you can't see that the words are backwards. And even if it wasn't there, if we go ahead and click the hide, you can't really see because of the, the angle there. So when you're going to flip footage 180 degrees, just be aware of any writing um, in your screen. It may, it'll, it'll come out backwards. But that's one way that I was able to use that new uh, template. Let's go ahead and look at another template. If we go to the library um, and then open up my downloads and grab a different one. Let's try Jelly. Jelly has a very different look. Yes, we'd like to import it. Now that I've got this jelly theme, let's go ahead and watch a little bit of it. Let me double click on this in the library and it opens up the preview window. And the preview window will play out uh, that demonstration. Okay, and that looks pretty cool. Let's look at the other intro. You know what, I actually like that second intro a little bit better. So let's put the second intro onto the screen. Go ahead and cut this one out of the way. Put the second intro onto my screen, onto my timeline. And now I can edit like this. So let's play it through. All right, so there's some changes I'd like to make to this. Similar to uh, the previous Camtasia version, to edit text, regardless of whether it's grouped or not, you just double click on the text and it selects that particular text box. Now I can move it around, I can adjust the behaviors attached to it. You can see that there are in and out behaviors uh, attached to this. I can change the font, I can change the color, the size even, its alignment, the style, um, the scale, its rotation, all of these features here. If I want to change what the text actually says, I double click on it a second time and I can now go in and edit this text. So let's say I want to have this be my subject, New Camtasia, 
nine. And now I want to edit this top one to say we create e-learning in the new Camtasia 9. Great, and that's it. That was very easy. It kept, both of these will keep their behavior styles, their color, their animations and everything. So when I play through it now, push play, we create e-learning in the new Camtasia 9. And that was very easy, very easy, and it looks remarkable in the new Camtasia 9. Let's go ahead and look at these transitions. If we drag this jelly transition down onto the, down onto the timeline, and then push play, this is what it looks like. All right, not bad. Let's test that out by putting footage behind it. But first, let's let's go ahead and zoom in on it a little more, and take a look at what's what's going on inside this transition. So if we hit the plus button here, you can see there's two groups. This group is the top shapes, and this group is the bottom shapes. So the time that we want the actual transition to happen is going to be when both shapes are filling up the screen. And you can see here's when they're transitioning off the screen and here's when they're transitioning off the screen. So we want it to be pretty close to here when they're, when the full screen is covered. So this is where the transition actually needs to happen. So let's go ahead and get some media. We'll get the uh, footage we used earlier to be this transition out. And let's just grab another template. Uh, we'll grab, you know what? Let's grab an intro from another theme. Let's try the tech theme and drag that in here. Now that we have the full tech theme, we'll grab this tech intro one onto the timeline. And we're going to need a little more space. It uh, looks like it's overlapping a little much here. So I'm going to put the cursor here. And then I'm going to hold down the shift button and select the scrubber. And as I move that forward, it's going to move everything after that scrubber with it. So we'll move it this way. We can zoom out a little bit to make it easier to see what's going on. And now we've got plenty of space to place down that intro. Place the intro right up against the side here. And I'm going to move this jelly intro a little bit out of the way. Alright, so let's go ahead and play this and see if that transition worked. I'll hit play by hitting spacebar. And it worked. Flawless transition there. If you want to see that full tech intro, let's go ahead and move that uh, to the side so you can see the entire full tech intro. It kind of has a, an electronic feel to it. Very clean, very nice. And so these are, this is just a few of the new Camtasia 9 templates that are available through eLearning Brothers. Uh, they we're continually making more new uploads uh, very frequently, trying to make sure that you got uh, exactly what you need, lots of different options, lots of different um, styles. Do be aware that we are making these Camtasia 9 templates uh, for the, the general video user, so they're going to be a little bit different. The assets inside of them are going to be a little bit different from those you find in Camtasia 8 templates. Instead of having lots of layouts, there's a lot more lower thirds. Instead of having uh, lots of callouts, there's just two callouts, but you have a second transition. So they're organized a little bit differently, a little bit more universal, and we hope that you can find exactly what you need in our new Camtasia 9 templates. Thanks!